The concept of AV over IP has been around longer than people realize. Unfortunately, most people don't even have the clue that you can use your home or business network as a means of transporting audio and HD, even 4K HDR video resolution signals. Today, we are excited to be able to enlighten you all on just how easy all this AV over IP stuff actually works and why you should not ignore this present and ever-changing technology. AV over IP is the future. Howdy folks, my name is Joel and this is part one of a three-part series where we will help educate you, our dealers and customers, on the overall theory behind AV over IP. We will explain how it's an excellent solution for any future projects, as well as how it will definitely impact the future of all AV designs, whether it's uh, residential or commercial installs. And now you'll wanna be in the loop for parts two and three, so make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you do not miss out on those future episodes. Okay, so what exactly is AV over IP? Also commonly known as video over IP or networked AV, it all essentially means the same thing. Technically, AV over IP stands for audio visual over internet protocol. All this is really saying is that you can transmit and switch audio visual data along with control signals over a standard ethernet network such as a LAN or the internet. The adoption of this technology is snowballing in the AV and IT industries thanks to advancements in AV hardware, sending AV streams over IP has never been easier. In AV over IP, the AV transmitters become encoders, AV receivers become decoders, and the AV matrix switcher becomes a standard IP switch, just like what your computers connect to in the office. To thoroughly answer this question, we need to understand the technologies behind an AV infrastructure. The products found in AV spaces are designed to preserve max image resolutions, frame rates, sound quality, and an easy to use control system with an interface that's easy on the eyes. In most cases, all these products are from different manufacturers, which poses a new issue, and that's trying to integrate and make them all communicate with each other, uh, since most likely you'll be dealing with different signals like DVI, VGA, HDMI, and DisplayPort, just to name a few. The types of products in these systems can be matrix switchers, AV scalers, multi-viewers, video walls, and twisted pair extenders using HD based D technology. Typically, these are point-to-point -point systems with the transmitter at the source device and receiver at the destination device. A typical matrix switch solution is a closed or separate AV network. In almost all cases, you'll need to run additional cabling at long lengths. Uh, you also need a certified professional with specialized training to install source devices to a matrix routing to multiple displays. The labor can be very expensive, not to mention the price of the cabling itself. Programming can be complicated, especially when setting up a third-party control system, which equates to time and money spent. Also, some equipment is limited to what a vendor has to offer, which gives you zero flexibility. The end result may seem complete, but with huge limitations, including uh, restrictions on capacity, such as available IOs or inputs and outputs. If you work in the AV industry or you're an AV enthusiast, then you know the feeling of needing to add just one more device to your system. While limited in some respects, these point-to-point -point systems offer a bandwidth controlled environment with performance elements that include uh, fast switching, low latency, scaling from 1080 to 4K, and changing signals from one type to another, such as uh, going from VGA to HDMI. Everything that I described about traditional AV can be preserved when implementing AV over IP. The only difference is that the audio and the video moving through the series of cables and boxes 
changes from circuit-based to packet-based, like computer data networks. Instead of placing transmitters and receivers at all devices in the room, the AV over IP model calls for an encoder at the source device, Blu-ray players and game consoles, and a decoder at the destination device, TVs and projectors. The encoders and decoders are all hooked up to gigabit ethernet switches. As a result, we are no longer limited to a finite number of inputs and outputs. Theoretically, we could connect as many encoders and decoders as our network design allows, with the ability to scale up at much lower costs. AV over IP technology organizes audiovisual data, whether you're sending HDMI, DisplayPort, Thunderbolt, VGA, or any control signals. It is flexible breaking the distance boundaries a typical AV system is confined to, while also having a better ratio of inputs to outputs. As technology advances into the future, an AV over IP system will be better suited to scale up while keeping costs down, simply by adding encoders, decoders, and gigabit ethernet switches to the existing network. Relatively simple for anyone with basic network experience. AV over IP is the fastest growing technology in the AV industry. It promises to take full advantage of the convergence of AV and IT with the ability to distribute audio, video, and control signals over a traditional network. The AV over IP model differs from existing AV designs in that it's essentially a streaming infrastructure. Gradually in time, the replacement of analog AV facilities with IP-based infrastructures will increase. For smaller systems, analog AV will probably remain the preferred choice for the time being. However, for larger systems requiring higher bandwidths, longer distances, or even just planning for a future expansion, then AV over IP is the best solution. There is no doubt that AV over IP is the future of AV system transmission and control. Well, that concludes part one of our three-part series on AV over IP. For part two, we will have demonstrations as well as show you how to hook it up, configure and utilize AV over IP. We'll also be comparing five different brand options for you guys. For part three, we'll mainly focus on commercial environments, uh, incorporating KVM and multi-viewing technologies, and how you or your organization can greatly benefit. You guys don't want to miss out on that, so make sure you subscribe to BZB TV and hit that bell so you guys will be immediately notified once they're released. Hope you guys liked it and found it informational. Please give us a big thumbs up and show your support. If you found it useful, Feel free to share it with a friend or colleague. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Joel. Hope to catch you guys on the next episode.